Hey yo, hello everybody, it's me Ninja Brick, and this time I'll be ranking all of the Ninja Go 2022 January sets. This is just my personal opinion, if your list is totally different, that's more than fine. And now, let's get straight into it. So I feel like the weakest set in here is Jace Thunder Dragon. And yeah, this might surprise you a little why I chose it over the um, 4 plus light mech, but the thing is that this is a 6 plus set and it you can just argue it's a junior set and that it can look like an absolute piece of garbage which is pretty close to this at this point and yeah uh, for $20 uh, I mean I guess the volume of stuff is here but the bill is just absolutely horrific in my opinion I'm sorry for all of the designers but I'm just not impressed at all the only good things are the figures and that's all I can say but those appear in many other sets too. At 8th place we have Lloyd's Ninja Mac for $10 it's okay nice figures bad build it's a junior set so you can't do much pretty much that's all all of the thoughts I can give you. Alright so then at number 7 we have Kai's Fire Dragon which will retail for $30 and yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely better than Jace, I'll give you that. Is it good? Still not. I still don't think this is a good set by any means. It's okay for the targeted audience, I guess, but it really doesn't look anything too great. I mean, I'm sorry, I also know that this wave is supposed to be targeted on, um, to the younger audience, but still, some of those builds just aren't good at all, and I just can't say they are because they really aren't, and I just stand by that. At number 6, we have Lloyd's race car, and this... It's okay. Again, the build isn't anything too crazy. In fact, it's really not that good at all. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely better than the other builds we've took we've taken a look at so far. But still, nothing too crazy by any means. Figures are nice, but in reality, the rest just isn't anything too good. To be completely honest. At number five, we have JS race car, and. Yeah, I mean, those builds are definitely a step up compared to the other things we've looked at so far, but yeah, figure-wise, it's also pretty decent, but could have been better for sure, especially for that price point. But yeah, I feel like what this set offers is good, especially for the targeted audience, and yeah, that's basically all it is. At number 4, I'm gonna put Light Legendary Dragon. I mean... This is the one that I think is quite alright, you know, it's good, it's not amazing by any means, but it's good, while the other sets we've looked at so far were terrible or just not good. And this one is good, and the top 3 sets of this wave are actually great. But yeah, the minifigure selection is okay, could have been better for the price point, that's for sure. The main problem I have with the dragon is the head, it just looks so childish and everything, though I like the dragon build as a wall, it just has some interesting proportions, and yeah, it's just something unique we haven't seen before. So, I'm pretty sure you're gonna slander me for this, but at number 3, we have Zane's Power Up Mech. And yeah, you are probably like, what the heck is wrong with you, how in the world can a $10 set be on 3rd place? Um. Simply, it's it's perfect for what it is. It's a cheap, affordable set for anyone to get, and it follows up this really cool $10 mech pattern, which we already seen with the Marvel mechs that LEGO has produced in the last two years. And yeah, the minifigures, you get two of them in this set. You hear, you hear, you heard it right. Yeah, you get actually two figures in this set, which are Zane, cheap way to get him, why not? And another orange snake, which will distribute it over the wall wave from those evolution sets. Okay, so at number 2 we have the Ninja Dojo Temple. And I chose to put it at the second place because of some different reasons. So, um, at first this set includes that Mac, $10 Mac, which could have been its own separate set. But they threw it in here to bump the price up, which is something I don't really like temple build amazing as i said i really love it the minifigure selection is good but could have been way better 
I like the inclusion of Wu and New Pixel. I actually absolutely love those two figures. But the problem I have that this set doesn't include all the ninja. Yeah, I know, I know there's an expansion coming in March, I think, to this set, which will include Jay, Zane, and two snakes, if I remember correctly. But yeah, anyways, if that's still actually gonna be a real set. And yeah, um, what they could have done is just threw out those two snakes. We are getting those snake warriors to the full line of those evolution sets. So why not have all the ninja in this set and Wu and Pixel? There's no need to do bad guys. Before you argue, they've done it before with the movie bounty and the legacy bounty as well. And this set is on a similar price point, so just why not? I feel like uh, completing all of the ninja would make just much more sense than distributing it to the temple expansion. But yeah, oh well, we gotta deal with it. Personally, I feel like getting all the ninja would actually be needed because, you know, for one of us, which are the collectors, which want to get good builds and a good selection of minifigures, I just feel like that's the major problem here. But still, it's a phenomenal 10 out of 10 set. I can't really complain about it, it's, it's really that good. But that's just something that's holding me back from making it top 1. And my favorite set from this wave is Ninja Ultra Combo Mag. And I absolutely dig this set, it's an absolute banger. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. What can I say? It reminds me of the Megazord from Power Rangers, which I already mentioned in the Toss video. But yeah, I just love how you can also re rearrange it like the Ultrasonic Raider. And then the models you get actually look good, so you can transform it to the models without taking it apart. And the models will actually look good, so I absolutely love that. Minifigures, on point, 4 of the OG Ninja, really good. Two of the snakes, okay, but hey, it's not the biggest set in this wave, it's the second biggest one, so I can't argue that they would need to include all the ninja here, because I feel like you need something to go against the mech, while with the temple, it's just the temple, so deal with it with getting some of the smaller sets, which include villains. So this is gonna be it for this video, do you ag agree with my list? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would really appreciate it if you would write your list as well, doesn't matter if you would include all 9 sets or just the top 5, top 3 or just your favorite set, it really doesn't matter to me, we'll just appreciate every comment. This is gonna be it for this video, if you enjoyed, highly appreciate a like, don't forget to click that subscribe button, you can already, have a great day, bye!